and I'm trying to put a word so deep down on the inside of you that you will do nothing but speak life and speak promises and speak greatness. My God, you just want to put that in my mouth and I'm looking at you eye to eye because you're judging things right now by how you see them and you're not seeing things the way that I see things and I see you in the future and you look better than you do right now. You look more alive. You look like you got it going on. You look fulfilled and I stretch out my arms hand over hand because there's some work you're going to do that you can't accomplish with your hands. But if I put my hands on your hands, you're going to be able to do things you ain't never done before. You'll be able to do the impossible, do the unthinkable. So I stretch out on you mouth to mouth, eye to eye, and hand to hand. Text says first time he stretches out, the body gets warm. The body gets warm because the body's beginning to come back to life. And when Jesus stretched out on that cross, uh, he stretched out and it was beginning of the process of giving you and me brand new life that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And then Elijah gets up and he walks around the room and he stretches out again. And the reality is that Jesus died. But when he got up on the third day, the fulfillment of brand new life, uh, we sneezed seven times as the essence of compassion. Completion. And on the third day, what Jesus did for you and me was complete, but it was also the beginning. You cannot have a resurrection until you have a death. God, why you let it die? God, why'd you let it die? Because if I didn't let it die, I couldn't resurrect it.